The biggest thing obviously is to adequate clothing, right? We want to provide that in multiple different layers so we're not sweating a lot, so we're not getting our clothes wet. Merkel recommends a base layer, one that hugs your skin. So long johns and a wool or synthetic skin shirt will be a good start. And then you add a pant and a mid layer. Then to top it off, add an insulated jacket. But most important, don't forget the warm socks, a hat and gloves key thing is layering. Be be ready for anything. You know, you want to start with a nice next to skin layer um, that can be either a wool garment um, or a synthetic garment. Staff at Roundhouse agrees that layers are key and they've seen people coming in for warm clothes ahead of the game. He's planning for playoffs, uh, for it to be cold during the playoffs. So here we go. And now that we're bundled up, what about what to drink? Bozeman Health says drinking water, not alcohol, will keep students and fans safe in the cold. Secondarily, we can uh, hydrate adequately. That really helps our circulation in our body, helps move heat around. And then third, probably the hardest, is to watch our alcohol intake. Um, alcohol intake actually makes our uh, vessels dilate a little bit more and increases our heat loss. People are expected to be out in the cold for hours. One thing to keep an eye out for is frostbite and hyperthermia. Grimes says to look out for signs of pain. Sign is some kind of tingling, you know, um, poor circulation to our fingertips. And finally, get inside every 30 to 60 minutes. Now we're game day ready in Bozeman, Edgar Cedillo, MTN News. Go Cats!